Remember the story of Goldilocks? We're bringing you a special market update with information we think you should be aware of as the market is experiencing some changes. We think the Goldilocks story illustrates exactly what's changed. If you're familiar with the Goldilocks story, you may remember not too hot, not too cold. You may also remember how indecisive she was with all the choices that she had. Well, we're halfway through 2019. Things feel a little bit different than they have in the past few years. In some price points and areas, the market is still very strong for sellers. In others, however, buyers are gaining the advantage. Why? It's simple. Continued low rates and more choices. We ended the first half of the year with the most active listings we've seen since October of 2013 when there were over 9,700 active listings. That's up 28% year to date from 2018. Goldilocks would love all these extra choices, uh, but more choices for buyers means sellers have to make a price adjustments to be more competitive. Sellers with homes priced between 1.5 and 1.75 million have been taking the biggest cut at about 91 to 95 sale to original price ratio. Sellers were getting, on average, more than asking price at this point in each of the last four years. Homes have been staying on the market longer before going under contract this year. The average days on market is up 25% year to date compared to last year from 24 to 30 days. Meanwhile, days on market for all price ranges still indicates a seller's market, except for over $1 million, where the market is more balanced between buyers and sellers with over five months of inventory. Basic economic principles would lead us to believe prices should be down, right? Well, the average sold price did dip a half a percent from May at the end of June, but has crept up to nearly 2% year to date compared to last year. Yeah, we've seen listing agents struggling with pricing uh, now that the market is evening out, and some buyers even want to put in lowball offers, and only just to find out that there are other buyers who are actually willing to pay full price or even higher. Here's the good news. While the market isn't what it was, it is still strong and looks like it will continue to remain that way overall. With interest rates staying low, inventory going up, it really is a great time to buy. Prices may be high, but they're leveling off, so it's still a great time to sell too. And Goldilocks might say, the market is just right for everyone. Yeah, as always, we know everyone's situation is unique, so please give us a call to discuss how the real estate market impacts you. We'd love to hear from you.